everyone. If you're wondering why my video quality has somehow increased, it's because I bought a tripod. It is a truth universally acknowledged that it is a bright and sunny day outside, which you can't really see, and we're gonna relish in it. <laughs> Welcome to today's episode of Thoughts from a Sewing Machine, Naturalist Edition. Thoughts from a sewing machine, you're actually in a sewing machine, but it's inside me. Love nature because it's almost spring. We love nature because it's spring almost. So, uh, it's a beautiful day. I don't want to be inside. Why don't we just, uh, you know, go there? But, like, in the back. Because, like, people and stuff. Yeah, let's, uh, get right into it. It's time for us to say goodbye, puppy. Say goodbye to me. I'll be right back, okay? Yes, good boy. Machine. Naturalist edition. Listen, I've told you once already, I'm not your show monkey, okay? I did it, I'm done, I'm never doing it again, okay? Cue the video. Uh, today, we are outside. No oh, shit, Sherlock. Sherlock. Because it's been really cold here for a while, and now it's finally wearing up. Which means that spring is in the air, tomorrow is the first day of spring. Let's celebrate that, and... I have a little sub along. So I got a couple things to fix. Um, let's start off with the pockets in this. They are abysmal. Um, so we're fixing them. They were not put in correctly because I didn't really know what I was doing. Um, so this is number one because I want to wear this again. I want to wear this again. This is one of my favorite dresses. So fixing those. Um, I never finished the top edge of these, so I'm doing that. And these need a lot of work. These need the top edge finished, they need a zipper put in, but we're not doing the zipper today because that's a lot of work. We're just gonna have a great time. Um, I hope you stay along for the ride. And I hope you enjoy the ride. Well, let's just remember, it's, it's, not, it's not the journey that matters. It's the friends we make along the way. Yeah, let's, uh, let's just get into it. Hey everyone, Editing Oz here. This is Ani. You may be wondering, what's that mysterious ticking noise in the background of that clip? Um, it's because I got that tripod that I bought came with a clicker that was supposed to hook up to the Bluetooth on my phone so I could, you know, not have to press the button. However, it didn't work. Because it's saying I need to update an app, like, I'm mean, download an app, I mean, and the app's not showing up in the app store, so... Yeah. It's, it's a pipe bomb. Voldemort. Yeah, bye.
I have pinned the first pocket into place. Now I have to baste it in. Let's use a yucky color. Um, see foam green. Um, yeah. How y'all been? Uh, it's been a while since I've done one of these. I, I mean, I've started, what, three series after I made the first episode of this one. And yeah, and then I had the Painting My Wall uh, trilogy. Yeah, that was really stressful. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm dealing with some major burnout right now. Like major, major, major burnout. Um, maybe we'll talk about that. Just had a good mythical morning flashback, so maybe I shouldn't say that, but <laughs> um, yeah. Having a tough time with my motivation. Thank you. I've been blessed. Yeah, motivation's been an issue. Trying to do more stuff like this. Getting outside, now that it's getting warmer. Um, yeah, taking time for myself. Instead of just, you know, cranking out homework assignment after homework assignment. Which is what I'm used to. Like, this is my senior year, I can relax if I would like to. And frankly, I would like to relax, you know? I need to look for a job, but I also have to write scholarship essays that I have no motivation to start whatsoever. <laughs> um, yeah, like at all. I can't even, I don't even want to think about them. Like they're topics that I like too, that's why I picked them. Like I just don't, want to think about having to write another thing. I have so much writing to do. I current events that are being due. I have a final Hamlet essay that I'm going all out for. You know, got this big project for my English class. That's not Hamlet related. <laughs> um, but I also feel like I have no time to write creatively which is really putting a damper on me, even though I've been scheduling in time to do things. You know, I've been watching a lot of movies that I've been putting off watching for a while, it's really because I just didn't want to put the effort in to figure out where I can watch them. Um, so I watched the 1995 Pride and Prejudice show from the BBC. I watched the 1990 or 2000 Jane Eyre from the BBC which was incredible, oh my god, incredible. As in one of the most, my most favorite things that I've ever watched and I'm still really stuck up on it. I've watched, I've tried to watch Wuthering Heights but I can't find it anywhere. Um, what else have I watched? Almost done with Longmire. Well, I say almost done. Almost done with season five of Longmire. There's still another one to go. Um, I've been watching a lot of travel YouTubers actually. And they've really inspired me to just get stuff done. Um, the first one that came in my recommended was Fearless and Far. And then that lead, led me down this rabbit hole of Eva's Beck, his girlfriend. And it just, she's blown my mind. And I love her philosophy about life, about the universe. And I love the way she edits her videos, which is probably why I'm trying to set this up. You know? Um, but yeah. Things are changing, and I think it's finally for the better, you know? <sighs> the numbers for this pandemic are going down. I'm graduating in like three months, which is ridiculous. Uh, I don't even want to think about it sometimes because it's so terrifying to think that in three months I'm going to be my own person. That in less than a month, I'm gonna have to have made my final college decision. I'm making 
not making. I'm getting my final, like, my admissions back as late as April 6th. Which is really scary because it's really close. I have my, like, so many things just happening at once and it just won't slow down, but I guess that's just, that's how life has always been. I think I'm just more aware of the fact that it's happening because I'm so stressed out. Um, but things are getting better. Honestly. When I made my last video, I was having a lot of trouble sleeping. As in, I was waking up really like in the middle of the night. I just couldn't, I could fall asleep, but I'd wake up and then when I wake up, I can't fall back asleep. And that was really destroying my sleep schedule. But I don't know what happened, but suddenly that changed. I also started drinking coffee again um, when I get home from school, which is about, which can range dramatically. I can get home from school at 2-ish, 2 10-ish, two or I can get home from school at 4-ish. And then, coming up, I will be getting home from school at the latest of 6.30-ish. So... That's, yeah. Oh, on that 6.30 thing, um, I have done something which I think is very cool and very helpful. As in, I have started costuming for my school's musical, which is now taking place in June because of COVID restrictions. All that jazz, you know? We are apparently the, only, the first high school in the United States of America to be doing Anastasia, which I think is really, really cool. Um, and I mean Anastasia, like the Anastasia that was on Broadway Anastasia. Like, yeah, like, it's really, it's really good. The musicals at my school are always ridiculously fantastic. Our choral director and director of the musical, my choir teacher, is a wonderful person and she has this she's one of those crazy creatives and she's one of those crazy creatives and i don't mean that in a bad way as in i'm because i'm a similar way i do this a similar thing that she does which is i have a vision of the finished product in my head i see it right and i can test out theories in reality but at the same time like it, sometimes the version of reality in my head, right, of, of what I see, and what she sees, is just this perfectionist wonderland. <laughs> um, but, yeah. It's also official that we have a concert. It's not a live performed concert, like, we're not doing it in front of the live audience, except, you know, the teachers that are going to be recording us, so we can live stream it. But, um, but yeah, we're, we're having a concert. And it's a good and a bad thing. <laughs> I want a concert, like, desperately. Like, I want to show off everything that I've learned in my three years of being at this school. I want to say goodbye to everyone. You know? It's... I've always been in music. Always. Uh, I think I, I was allowed to join choir in a third grade, and when I did join, I never stopped. It's incredible. It's one of my favorite things in the entire universe. <laughs> Being in this select group of people, the choir I'm in is select, you know, and so many different social groups, you know, social, social groups, the social groups that you belong in, your economic status, they don't matter when you're performing. They don't matter when you're making music. The only thing that needs to matter is that you all are there because you want to be, because you want to make music and and spread these emotions, these 
you want to change the audience's life in some way, shape, or form. You know, by eliciting specific emotions based on the different songs that you're performing, by, you know, just so displaying this enhanced camaraderie that exists between musicians. Like, camaraderie between athletes, sportsmanship, is raw and unfettering. However, camaraderie between musicians is deep, passionate, and emotional. And I don't mean passionate with passionate love, I mean passionate as in they're all there because they are trying to elicit these feelings through the medium of music, of music. And music is very personal, a very emotional experience. Um, every kind of music is. Um, but everyone has a different emotional connection to every song that they listen to, and sometimes the situation regarding how they listen to the music. If you're a parent, right, who was never in the music program, but your child joined the music program and you're watching their concert, you're gonna win and connect to it emotionally because that's your child performing, right? But you could be another person that's still a parent or a family member watching this and you could have had the worst week of your life and listening to this, qu this choir or this orchestra or band perform could be the highlight of your week. It could, it could change your outlook for the rest of the week. And sometimes music can even change your actual life. For example, there is this major work of music that is incredibly popular. And I know that if you are a choir person, you will know what it is immediately when I say it. Considering Matthew Shepard. We are doing the opening number from Considering Matthew Shepard, Cattle, Horses, Sky, and Grass in our concert. It is a beautiful song full of incredible clashes and harmonies. And there's this section where we're all instrumental and it's, and it's, it's, it's a beautiful song. Every song in Considering Matthew Shepard is beautiful, but it displays the story of Matthew Shepard a boy from out west who was outwardly gay and was beaten to death on a fence post. This work of music changes your life as you listen to it. It makes you feel emotions that sometimes people don't even know that they have because it's so deep and raw and passionate. And if you ever get the chance to listen to it, you need to listen to it. It's ridiculously important for your life and for everyone else's. It's eye-opening and, and beautiful. It is... It's everything. Now, I look back on some of the songs that I've written for my series, especially the very early ones. I mean, there's a song that I think I need to record in, my, in the recording room that we have in my high school and, and put on this. I think that should be my next video because it's called The Liberator and it is the major theme of the entire series. The idea of someone, a prophesized someone coming forth to liberate the world. It's, it's epic and moving and once, you know, I only have the piano part written. You know, I, I worked on that very beginning of quarantine. And ever since, I think I've written about 20 songs. And that was the first one, you know. Um, but it, it's, it's, it makes me feel a lot of emotions, perhaps just because I'm the one who wrote it, but, but I, I think, I think you all need to hear it.
Okay, pocket one is complete. So, let me cut this thread and zoom in. Zoom in, put it closer. Show you what I did. So basically, I had basted them together, but then I folded it over twice and ripped it down. So now you can't see it. It's really sturdy. Can't flip my fingers through. My neighbor that way might be starting up his lawnmower. So, there are loud, unexplained vrooms. That's why. <laughs> um, but yeah. Time to sew up this side. And then I will be able to wear this again. It's complete. This side and this side. I can finally wear this dress again. I'm gonna wear it to school on Monday probably then. Uh, so yeah. I've changed location because it got kind of chilly. My kneecaps are kind of cold. But anyways, I would like to thank you all for watching this video. If you liked it, you should totally hit the like button. You should totally subscribe to my channel. You should totally hit that bell icon so that you get notified of all my future uploads. And yeah. Now I hope you're all having a good day. This is a goodbye from Emilier, and I'll see you all next Monday. Peace.